Because this video revolves around Charizard, who is a dragon, I find it fitting that we begin with an ancient Chinese proverb. Um, actually, hold that thought for just one moment. Hey, guys, that's your cue to hit the music. It, it'll, you know, it'll help with atmosphere and what? Okay, okay thanks. I, um, <clears throat> um, as I was saying, sometimes life can be as bitter as dragon tears. But whether dragon tears are bitter or sweet depends entirely on how each man perceives them. Game! Well, I don't know about you, but I bet this man's perceiving him as being pretty bitter! <laughs> it's how to Charizard, baby! Let's go! Roll the- do, do the thing! Just- just go! And Charizard is actually a very easy character to play, and that's because more often times than not, as long as you can throw your opponent off of the edge, they'll realize, oh wait, I have no hope in defeating this big scary dragon guy, I might as well just kill myself now and get this over with. In all honesty, I'm not even 100% sure what it is about Charizard that brings out all of these suicidal tendencies, but oddly enough, it happens a lot more than you may think. So this might not come off as much of a surprise, but Charizard is a big heavy boy who substitutes speed for strength. Despite this, however, he still still has some moves that are both powerful and fast, mainly his aerials. Take this matchup for example, we got flying type versus flying type, but as you can see here, my sick aerial skills prove to outmatch his tenfold. By far his best aerial is his down air, which lets you dunk on fools like your goddamn David Thompson himself. Uh, that, that was a uh, sports reference, by the way. You see, it's just that I'm kind of doubting that the average Smash 4 fan would really even know what a sports is. So, I thought I would just, um, you know, clarify. Fuck it, moving on. Speaking of slam dunks, this right here is what I like to call the rebound slam. It makes a fool look like a goddamn whammo bouncy ball, and it's hilarious, and oh shit, no, 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 no. Nah, we're living, we're fine, we're gonna be- Oh, we ain't getting hit by that, though, I know that- Oh. Hmm, well, um... I, I told you we weren't gonna get hit by it. All right, Ganondorf, I'm gonna take you out of this world the same way you came into it! Kicking and screaming! <laughs> and I ain't talking no Will Ferrell movie, either. What the hell is this? Some 12-year-old kid really thinks he can kill a dragon? Do I look like a nanny to you, man? Get the fuck out of here with that nonsense! I ain't no daycare. You see, here's the thing. Children just aren't meant to fight giant death lizards. I mean, just look at this. I don't even gotta do anything, and I still win just fine. It's just too easy. I, I, I can't lose. Actually, as long as that's the case, I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Had to take a quick bathroom break, but now that I'm back, let's talk about the best move in the game and best move in Charizard's arsenal. Let's talk about Flare Blitz. That is correct, everybody. All you gotta do, press one side, left or right, press B. There you go. There's the best move in the entire game right there. Bada boom, kills a full three hits. It's easy peasy. Charizard winner, best guy. Woo! Wait, what? What am I even looking at right now? Is this guy a, a purple Charizard? Why the hell would you even do that, man? I mean, that's just, like, straight-up disrespectful. Everybody knows Charizard isn't purple, and I absolutely refuse to tolerate this man's gross character assassination! All right, you know what? I think that's enough playing around. Let's get Barney's dickhead cousin out of here. Flare Blitz, baby! Best move in the game. It's the best. Just gotta... Oh, unless it misses like that. Oops. Oh, what is this guy trying to do? Stomp on me? Man, I invented that move myself, personally. I'm... You know, he's trying to send me down to the bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead, send him right up through the top and kill him that way. Uh, there's poetry to be found in that somewhere, surely. Man, this Shulk is really giving me the old one-two buckle my shoe right now. I gotta say, he's pretty damn good. In all honesty, I don't really think I have that much hope in defeating this guy. He clearly has a pretty good grasp on what he's doing. And you know what? That's, that's fine. Really, I'm a big man. I can respect myself enough to be comfortable admitting when I'm just simply outclassed. So you know what? Kudos to this Shulk for his hard work and dedication in becoming a very skilled player and being able to- And he just killed himself. Huh. Uh, well, you see, this whole time in my head, I actually knew this was going to be a shoe in I mean, I clearly just have more skill and knowledge for the game, so I knew I'd be able to pull out a comeback through my sheer raw ability. Yeah. 
That sounds about right. Let's go with that. Seriously? I'm fighting yet another Charizard? Man, you go to Fort Glory for like two hours straight and tell me how many Charizards you encounter. The answer's probably gonna be between zero and zero. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised, though. He must have caught wind that the greatest Charizard player in A was rolling everyone online, so he wanted to see if his Charizard skills even came close to mine. Well, sorry to say, but I'm about to do to his hopes and dreams what my Charizard is gonna do to his Charizard. Stomp him straight into the fucking ground. Game. 